वेलकम एवरीवन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू मैक्स लेंथ चेन इन डायनामिक प्रोग्रामिंग क्वेश्चन इन गीक फॉर गीक्स यू कैन चेक दिस क्वेश्चन इन द गिवन बिलो लिंक इन द गीक फॉर गीक्स वेबसाइट नो कमिंग टू दिस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग वी हैव टू गेट अ मैक्सिमम लेंथ चेन ओके बाय मैक्स लेंथ इट इज सेइंग वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दिस एलिमेंट्स इन अ स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ओके वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर पॉसिबल दैट कैन बी अरेंज्ड in increasing order okay you can see here we have the example p equal to 524 39 60 15 28 27 40 which are given in pairs okay and this 524 39 60 whatever pairs are there uh, in this in the question it was given as objects okay so we will treat this as object object values okay now we have to sort the object value by the second element why we are going to do that because if we sort using the first element okay if we sort the by using first element then there is a chance that we may miss one element okay to avoid that what we are going to do is we are going to sort it by the second element for all this given array or list okay. so we can say uh, the left hand side element as object a and right side element as object b for each individual index value okay now we are going to sort by b as we have discussed after sorting by b we will be getting 524 15 28 27 40 39 60 50 90 okay we got the answer now now what we are going to do is now we are going to take two pointers one pointer will be i which will be starting from the left side and one pointer will be starting from the next index of i and we will say that as j pointer okay now we are going to check the left side of the i pointer and this is the b object value and we are going to take a object value from j okay and i have mentioned that it should be in a increasing order so if these elements are in increasing order then this b should always be smaller than a only in that case only we can say this is in a increasing order okay if it isn't we will just ignore it okay now let us start we will compare the elements one by one okay now we are going to see how what is the max length that we can get in a increasing order so when we are comparing two elements we always have to add the first element okay because we are comparing two elements and now this condition holds true then we will be adding one but we will be forgetting the starting element so we will initialize count as 1 at the initial stage only now let us check one by one. if b smaller than a from the jth index no it is not so we will update j so this j will be going to the next element now now we will see the b object of i is smaller than a object from j yes it is so what we are going to do is we will update our count value then we will shift our ith index to the jth position so i will come here then this j will be updated again so j will be here now now it will check the same now again it will take the b object from a and it will take a object from j index it will check is b smaller than a it is not so it will update the j index now okay if it is smaller then i will be coming to the j position if it is not smaller then i will remain as it is now j has reached here the last index now we will see if b value from i smaller than a or of j yes it is smaller so we can again count one more time so i will come to the last index now so when i reaches the last index that means the loop has been iterated completely there is no more element ahead of this this element right so we the loop will be stopping here and we will return the final count so the final count will be 3 this will be our output i hope you have understood this part if you haven't understood watch this theory part again if you still have doubt let us go into the coding section it will be very clear after seeing the code now we are inside the coding part of the max length chain question then as you can see we have updated the initial value as 1 in presentation we have taken it as a count variable so in this coding example we are taking as a res okay so if n equal to equal to 0 return 0 this means if there is no element mentioned inside the example then we will return 0 okay and next part is p dot sort we are sorting the array here by b object remember this is a object given as a question it is not a 
list so we'll sort the list of p using b object inside another list okay now after sorting by b object now we have taken one variable i equal to zero i equal to zero this will be used to sort i mean this will be used to compare from the left side of the array and the jth index will be used to compare from the right side of the array so i will always be smaller than j only okay now for j in range i plus one so i we have initialized already so that p i dot b should be smaller than p j dot a if it is smaller then only the condition will satisfy then we will update one plus result so the result value will be updated and when this condition satisfied we will update i as j the index okay so we can skip the elements before j -th index because it will be a repeated work so this will short our work after iterating the whole array we will return the final result in a res variable that will be our answer for this question if you still have any doubt just leave a comment down below we will be very quick to respond but if you like the video and you want more video from us subscribe our channel and thank you for watching till then let's meet in another question